Well, breaking tonight, a Los Angeles Superior Court judge granting a preliminary injunction against Grace Community Church, prohibiting Pastor John MacArthur from holding indoor worship services. They've been doing this for weeks. So what now? Well, let's ask Pastor MacArthur and Trump 2020 senior legal advisor Jenna Ellis, who's working on the case as well. Welcome to you both. Thanks so much, Shannon. Thank you. All right, absent an intervention before Sunday, Pastor, what is your plan? Uh, we're going to have church on Sunday. Uh, there is absolutely no reason not to have church as far as safety goes. A statistic, one one hundredth of one percent of Californians have COVID. That's the number. And yet no one in the entire state of California is allowed to go inside a church. Doesn't make sense. Of course, we're under the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ, and he says have church, and we're going to have it. Hey, Tim Frisch with a Frisch Perspective. That was Pastor John MacArthur on Fox News last night explaining that Grace Community Church still plans to hold indoor services this Sunday in spite of a ruling by Judge Beckloff saying that he was upholding the county's health order prohibiting indoor services in L.A. County during this time. I did a video yesterday talking about the judge's decision, so if you'd like to watch that and get more details, I just wanted to do a little update today and show you what John MacArthur said on Fox News last night. I really wasn't sure how he would respond to the judge's decision, but it sounds like they are going to have indoor services. That's the plan. Also, Jenna Ellis, MacArthur's lawyer, says that they are going to appeal the court's decision, and they are going to file that appeal today. One of the issues that makes this situation so thorny and difficult, I think for judges, is that the county hasn't come down uh, just on churches. It's actually come down on other entities as well. I've pointed this out before that even sports are affected by the pandemic situation. So that is one of the things that the judge pointed out. But Jenna Ellis does point out something that's very important, that the judge actually talks about the county health order allows worship to occur outdoors. And she sees that as a major problem. And I thought this was a really good point that she made on that program, that when we begin to talk about the government allowing worship, it really implies that they are trampling on constitutional rights. Because then, instead of seeing our, the practice of our religion as a right, it becomes what she said is considered a privilege. We will allow you to do this. So that language used by the judge there in relationship to the county uh, kind of shows something here that I think is really going to get to the heart of this case. But I would still say the fact that the county is putting restrictions on entities other than just churches will make it harder for the church to show that they're being discriminated against although I'm sure they're going to continue to make that case. And again, the constitutional rights are very important and will probably have a lot of bearing uh, on how everything is ultimately decided in court. I'm not sure exactly what the next court setting will be, and I don't know if this will continue to go up the court levels. Perhaps it could be a Supreme Court case. I'm not really sure. We will see what happens. But at this point, the judge has ordered that the church is to follow the preliminary injunction and not meet indoors. But Pastor MacArthur says that this Sunday they do plan to meet indoors. That's the latest we've heard. I will keep you posted. I'd love to hear what you think about this situation in the comments section. Thank you so much for listening to what I have to say from a fresh perspective.